Hey guys, it's Tim here. So I got a birthday present for the mill. All right, so here it is. The quick log clamp. I wanted an extra one because it was never where I wanted it to be. So I moved one down and I'm gonna move this one back over kind of where the other one was, sort of. It always seemed like when I was cutting that cedar that the ends were getting all wimbly wombly or something, you know, they're chattering and I'm just trying to firm some things up. So that's why I wanted this. Let's install it, it's pretty simple. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. So instructions, probably. It looks like a little drawing. Everything's nice and wrapped in here. It did take some beating in the mail, but being that these are all steel parts, it's not important. Here's the clamp. Oh my goodness. There we go. Work smarter, not harder. Okay. All right, so I got my torque wrench. I got my wrench wrench. My hardware bag here. Set them out. Since I put every other one this way, I'm gonna put this one this way. Hmm. Undo our T-handle here. Get our nuts on. These are the lock nuts. Damn. Okay, so I should have grabbed a separate ratchet. Following the owner's manual, I'm putting these things down at uh, 53 foot pounds, I believe it is. And I will just get them snugged up a little bit here. Then we'll go back and let them torque them all. And then after that, don't forget to take the tension off your torque wrench. Simple as that. So now, 
We can drop this thing in there if we want. Done, installed, ready to go. So I think that's gonna help out a lot for what I want it for. But uh, we'll see if we need to move it here or there. Well, all right guys, uh, thanks for watching this quick little video, putting this thing on the mill. We'll uh, have to see how it goes about in the next couple times I mill and see if we need to shuffle it around, what bay it needs to be between the supports. Uh, I think this is gonna be where I want it. So uh, we'll see you next week.